Um, we have another health alert, and it may come as a surprise to you. There's this new study that just came out, and it says that there's no significant link between talc-based powder and ovarian cancer. That was the fear, especially recently, because there have been several high-profile court cases raising concerns about this, and actually landmark settlements as well. Dr. Jeanette Neshwa is here. She's a board-certified doctor, practices family and emergency medicine. Doctor, are you surprised? Because we're talking about multi-million dollar settlements that came after some of these lawsuits that basically we assumed admitted guilt. Now there's this study. Sure. So what this study showed, Lynn, is that out of about 250,000 women, after about 10 years, 2,200 of them developed ovarian cancer. So even though we can't prove a direct cause and effect relationship, that doesn't mean a link doesn't exist. Um, that's great that it's such a small number, but that's still 2,200 lives, 2,200 women who developed ovarian cancer. And we got to remember that talc causes inflammation. The powder, it can cause inflammation in the reprodu reproductive tract. So when you have daily, if you use the powder every day, you could potentially have daily inflammation. Inflammation causes mutations and damage to the cells, and that in turn could cause ovarian cancer. And also, you know, some of the studies when uh, the pathologist examined the tumors, they found talc powder deeply embedded in these ovarian tumors. So, you know, that's got to tell you something there. Well, there was a but to this study yeah. when it came to finding a small increase in risk. So maybe they were covering themselves in that regard because of what you're talking about. But this is something that so many of us use all the time, especially as a parent, something that I've struggled with, with having little babies of like, is there really serious risk? If you had a patient come in, would you advise them against using baby powder? I would advise not to use it every single day because it's not a clear link. We can't prove that it definitely causes it, but we can't prove that it cannot. And with ovarian cancer, fortunately, it only affects about 200,000 women each year, but it's very difficult to detect. Um, like pancreatic cancer, by the time it's found, it's already spread. So you, you've got to be careful, moderation, don't use it every day, and then pay attention to your body as far as for signs and symptoms. For example, if you're having abdominal pain, abdominal bloating, you know, back pain, weight loss, fatigue, you just don't feel right. It's very important to pay attention to these signs and symptoms and see your doctor um, because there are tests that can be run, you know, ultrasounds that can, for example, that can pick up um, these sort of uh, tumors. And if you can catch it in its early stages, you know, early diagnosis usually means a better prognosis. Some great information. Dr. Jeanette Neshwat, it's always good to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lynn.